You're listening to the Minutes on Growth podcast, the show that brings you mindfully curated insights into relationships, spirituality, personal development, and everything in between with your host, Tanaz Hussainpour. Hi, soul friends. It's Tanaz Hussainpour, and welcome to another short solo episode of Minutes on Growth. This week, I want to briefly talk about a topic that's coming up a lot this past season in both my one-on-one sessions and group coaching programs, the topic of entrepreneurship. With the world going online, more and more people want to start online businesses and they want to start side hustles, either because they've lost their job or because they've realized that they want to do more with their life. But not everyone is actually taking action. So why does this disconnect exist? Well, the truth is, most people are waiting for the perfect moment. Why the perfect moment? Because the mind gives us the illusion that if everything is perfect, then nothing will go wrong and we won't quote unquote fail. And with all the social conditioning we've experienced, God forbid we fail. But I'm here to tell you that the perfect moment doesn't exist. There isn't a moment in time that everything from the external to the internal will just magically line up. I know this from experience. Over the past four years, my holding company has expanded to including multiple six-figure coaching business, an education consultancy firm, a crypto platform, and some side hustles in the F&B and retail industry. And when people ask me, what is the secret to my expansion? I always say two things. The first is taking imperfect action. And the second is redefining failure for myself. When we're kids, we have the audacity to dream big and to claim those dreams as a possibility, a possibility that feels so real. However, the older we get, the inner critic grows with us and gets louder and louder. And we start to hear the inner critic's voice as the truth. Then when we're older and we look back on our childhood, we say, ah, I always wanted to do this and be this person, but I was a child. I was a kid. I didn't know better. I hadn't seen how the real world operates. And we start to make excuses for our desires. We make excuses for our dreams And we take the safe route and we live our day-to-day life with suppressed, unfulfilled potential. But it's important to pause and to see life through the lens of our younger self. Because that is the truth. And to tell ourselves that if the desire exists within me, it is meant for me. It is my responsibility. It is my duty to honor that desire, to bring it to life. Now, that desire might turn out successful, and it might not. But it's there because that desire is what is going to elevate us, what is going to help us to grow. It is who we become on the journey of entrepreneurship that is the goal. It is not the end result of how much money we make, but rather who we are during the process, how much impact we have during that process, how much we grow, how much we learn. Every time we fall down, what do we learn from those falls? I have many successful businesses, but over the years, I've had many unsuccessful businesses as well that were equally important in who I am today as a person. If I had given up the first time things didn't go my way, I wouldn't have come up with all these new ideas through which I'm able to share my gifts with the world. Because let me tell you this, when creativity knocks on our door and we open the door and honor its presence, it's going to show up to our front step much more often. So if we can shift our perspective and and if we can say, okay, The purpose is to grow and to elevate. It is to become a more conscious and aware version of myself, to be able to see my flaws through my day-to-day interactions with my staff, with society, and through that reflection, to become better than you, my soul friend, are already 
a successful entrepreneur. The money, the status, the benefits, they are all the cherry on top. They are not the foundation. And let me tell you this with conviction. When you are in that state of gratitude, when you are in that state of awareness and of consciousness, money flows to you with so much ease because the universe wants to gift you back. Because you've done so much mindset work to get there that you have removed all the abundance blocks in your head. You're stepping into your truth. You're stepping into your potential. And over there, resistance is limited. So when I see people seeking money first without a deeper meaning behind for something greater than themselves, I always tell them they're on the wrong path. If you want money, then you need to let go of the critic's resistance and level up. You need to step into your truth, into what sets your soul on fire. And trust me, that truth is always bigger than just what serves you alone. Every time you play small, every time you convince yourself to postpone your desires for whatever reason, every time you say no to yourself, you are doing a disservice not only to yourself, but to your community and society. Because your mess, because your story, because your talents They can all save people. They can transform people's lives. So take a look at your passions, your talents, and your desires with respect and honor. Discover your soul's why. Why do you want to embark on this journey? How will this journey not only elevate your life, but the life of those around you? Then take action with an open heart. And every time you fall down and your inner critic tries to convince you that you failed, smile. Knowing that that voice isn't the truth. Because as long as we're learning, failure doesn't exist. And we're here to learn. And the quickest way to learn is through these experiences. So shift your focus on the journey. Allow yourself to serve the world. And in return, please Allow the world to serve you with all the abundance it possesses. You deserve it and you're capable of it all. Trust yourself. Thank you for listening. Speak soon. Thank you for joining us this week on Minutes on Growth. If you enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button now.